All right, so as many of you know, this last update that just passed, we got the introduction of the Infernus crate. Now, inside of here, there was a lot of interesting items. Obviously, the brand new Infernus set. Then you have uh, two different versions of what's more or less a tip jar. That obviously being the Infernus vase as well as the Infernus head. Now, throughout the entire build up to this update, one of the biggest items that everyone was talking about was obviously going to be the relic. I am so confused as to what is happening. Like, I'm just trying to record a video and everyone is doing circles around me. There we go. I know I'm much safer on the rooftop of my relic restaurant so like i was saying one of the most sought after items is the haunted wishing well and that's because it helps out a lot of players when it comes to actually accumulating a couple of the boost now as i'm sure many of you already know by now because this is kind of completely old news the haunted wishing well got a pretty massive nerf uh probably a couple of weeks ago maybe even like a month or two ago i'm actually not 100 sure when it happened but i know it happened quite some time ago so recently as of actually 24 hours ago i was reached out by one of my subscribers and someone that is inside of my discord server which is actually inside of my server right now by the name of mad they told me that they had 20 of the relics and that they were willing to go ahead and let me borrow them so i could record a video on basically the results that we get from activating all 20 of these is it better than the actual well or is it about the same that is a question that we will be able to go ahead and answer in today's video i myself am actually someone that has well over 600 haunted wishing wells and if i'm going to be completely honest it, it really isn't all that great so if we head down to my 10th floor you guys will see that i have all of the relics lined up right here originally this video was supposed to be for yesterday but as i'm sure you guys are aware every single time that you trade either the wells or the relics you do need to wait the 12 hour cooldown in order to be able to use them so we waited for the 12 hour cooldown it is now the next day we're going to go ahead and activate all of these then go ahead and give them back to mad so just for reference if we come over here to my boost i currently have zero rush hours activated and i have 74 minutes of double profit let's go ahead and start off with the first three here so for the first one we're going to get 2000 gems next one we are going to get another 2000 gems and finally we are going to get 40 minutes of double profit so pretty decent stuff now let's go ahead and move on to the next three kind of curious one hour of double profit all right 2000 gems and then for the final one another 2000 gems you know what let's just kind of storm right through these because i really really want to see advertising campaign 25 minutes double profit one hour and 10,000 gems. I'm curious, like, what is really the super insane thing here? There has to be something that's just like super duper OP. So we got double profit there for one hour, double profit 40 minutes, double profit one hour. What else do we got here? Uh, double profit 40 minutes, uh, double profit 40 minutes. Okay, we're getting some repeated ones here, 10,000 gems again. And then let's just go ahead and kind of do these really quick, just so we end off here. I don't want to waste too much time. So we got. 2000 40 minutes of double profit advertising campaign advertising campaign so overall i mean we got some pretty good stuff so we have 100 minutes of rush hour now and we have 552 minutes of double profit i honestly would say that even with only having 20 of these we more or less got better results than if we were to hit the haunted wishing wells if we come over here to my floor number nine i actually have a bunch of haunted wells here so i'm just gonna get a general idea on yeah see because the thing with these is that most of the time you get hyper stove or you get cash so the boosts are not really like a common thing that drop from these now, obviously besides the hyper stove. And then a lot of that has to do with the fact that, oh, there's one right there, actually double profit 15 minutes only. But a lot of this has to do with the fact that they just were unfortunately nerfed extremely hard. Now, again, it makes sense why they nerfed them because obviously during the time that my restaurant wasn't getting any updates, there was the seasonal events that were still happening because they were being recycled every single year for two years consecutively. And during the Halloween event, you were able to go ahead and purchase these haunted wishing wells, which more specifically, one year they made it where you were able to buy just as many as you wanted. There actually wasn't a limit to it, which now I know later on, which I actually wasn't playing during that event, because obviously the game wasn't being updated, so I wasn't actively playing it. But there was one year where they kind of made it a limited amount purchase, which is really what a lot of people remember. Now, remember, when we went ahead and activated all of the relics, we 
kind of had a, a pretty decent balance, right? We had 500 minutes of one and then 100 minutes of the other. If we go into exclusive now and we take a look, there is a huge difference here, right? Like we're getting a lot of double profits, but the rush hour, it's just it's just not popping up you know what i'm saying we're now sitting at 97 minutes of rush hour and 1029 minutes of double profit i will say man it's pretty interesting that something just as similar as the haunted wells were before their nerf was re-released again being obviously the relic because honestly the way that i kind of understood it was that it was just strictly too op so they got rid of it and kind of nerfed it down but then i mean if we kind of sit here and think about it it makes sense uh you would you would get way more sales if you made that item just as op as the wells were before and you threw it inside of a crate then you got players like mad which are kind of just trading around a lot and bulking up a bunch of these so that that way they have just a bunch of boosts running all the time so i guess at this point the final verdict of this video is we can pretty much say r.i.p to the haunted wishing well now and welcome to the relic because this is obviously going to become like the new meta at least when it comes to chasing after an item that gives you boost again i want to give a huge shout out to mad for allowing me to go ahead and actually record this video because there was just simply no way that i was going to be able to get my hands on 21 of these relics keep in mind this is something on a very small scale there's probably someone out there that has way more relics but there is actually one other thing that i'm going to be testing here very soon throughout this week and that is the infernus set inside of my inventory i have four tables as well as 12 chairs and i have this one down here which is actually my own and i say that because matt is also going to let me borrow a bunch of these sets so that we can test out what it's like to potentially do maybe i don't know like one floor of just strictly in furnace unless we're able to get our hands on some more because i know that there is a couple of other people in my discord server that do have sets and they're willing to kind of let me borrow them so we'll see how many we can actually get our hands on and then we're going to test to see how much money we make by just having a layout with nothing but in furnace sets that's something that you guys are interested in seeing let me know in the comments. I actually have a picture right here of what something like that would look like. And this is actually inside of Mad's restaurant. Currently, they only have one floor. So by no means do I want you guys to think that they have 10 floors of these. But still, this is very impressive. And again, for the sake of science, I feel like it'd be really cool to go ahead and see what kind of performance we get from that as far as like money per hour. So let me know in the comments if you guys are interested in seeing that. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel for more of my restaurant videos. Like I mentioned yesterday, we have have more games that i'm going to be covering throughout this week currently i have some stuff going on in real life getting ready for my little sister's actual 15s party as well as a couple of other things so i'm kind of juggling everything around but once this is over i am going to be going crazy on the channel with covering new games as well as potentially starting a series on some other simulators and if you guys are not in my discord server there's apparently something beach theme that's going to be happening on my restaurant we'll do a follow-up video talking about those leaks or if you want join my discord discord.gg slash carbonmeister to keep up to date on all of the leaks either way that's going to go out into for this one like always i'll see you guys in the next video take care